family planning is one of the important keys in sustainable development goals. Family planning also plays an important role in the success of various aspects and needs in a country. Before we go any further, let me introduce myself. Hello everyone, my name is Diza Indira. I am a student at LSPR Communication and Business Institute under the supervision of Mrs. Aras Sirait as my mentor and my lecturer. As I said earlier, family planning is one of the important things in SDGs. Why? Because according to the Ministry of Health, family planning has several main objectives, including first, preventing a population explosion by suppressing its growth rate. Second, regulate pregnancy by delaying the age of marriage until it is fully mature, including the terminating pregnancy if a small family is deemed to have had enough children. Third, the achievement of the norms of a happy and prosperous small family as well as the formation of a quality family. Research proves that family planning is not solely made to meet government's targets, but this program actually has many benefits, including the mental and physical health of each family member. Based on the data, unplanned pregnancy can increase the risk of complication, including maternal death. Data from the collaboration of BPS and UNICEF Indonesia reports that girls aged 10 until 14 years are five times more likely to die from complications than women who are pregnant at the age of 20 until 24 years. Various reports say that babies born to young girls have a higher risk of premature death than older mothers. This happens because the fetus competes for nutritional intake with the mother's body because both are still in the development stage. Family planning program can also improve the physical, mental, and social health of each family member, including children. Children can get greater opportunities in terms of education and love from their parents. The number of children in family greatly affects the quality of education provided by parents to children. In addition, family planning also has the advantage of improving the economy of a country. The government's investment by launching the family planning program helps increase Indonesia's sustainable economic growth, even in the era of the global financial crisis. This was stated by the heads of the Fiscal Policy Agency, Bambang Brojonegoro, in the, in the 2012 National Work Meeting for Development and Family Planning, which was held by the National Population and Family Planning Agency in Jakarta. The sustainable economic growth is largely driven by the increase in people's purchasing power due to the smaller number of family members added Bamba. Investing by implementing family planning is beneficial for improving the quality of children's future, namely in the fields of health and education. The smaller the number of family members, the higher the cost of improving the quality of children and household savings. An increase in family savings also leads to an increase in productive investment savings to create new job. Fewer children provide more opportunities for mothers to enter the labor market, which means an increase in family income. If every family in Indonesia has a good quality human resources, it will accumulate in very large number and become an asset for significant economic growth. Bambang said, the success of the family planning program in reducing the proportion of young people who are not productive in increasing the number of working age population 
that has the potential to increase productivity has led to the creation of windows of opportunities, namely opportunities for capital development from human resources. So it is proven that family planning is very important because it can improve the welfare of mother and children in order to realize the NKKBS or Norma Keluarga Kecil Bahagia Sejahtera, which is the basis of the realization of a prosperous society by controlling birth and ensuring controlled population growth. Then, family planning can improve the economy of a country. I hope that this speech will give you all a clear understanding about family planning. Thank you for listening.